I want you to think about the number 198. 198. It's 198 players that were drafted before Tom Brady. Think about this. 2000 NFL draft. He is picked. Number 199. Comes out of Michigan. Doesn't look good. When you look at his body, you're kind of like, ah, it is what it is. In that draft, I want to say LeVar Arrington was picked. Peter Warwick was on that list as a wide receiver from uh, Florida State. Brian Orlocker was on that list. Uh, Jamal Lewis, who once ran 295 yards, his record was broken by Adrian Peterson, 296. He was on that list. Jay Abrams on that list. Janikowski on that list. Chad Pennington was the first quarterback. And this guy was picked 199. We're not talking like 20th. 199 is when he was picked. Now, I want you to think about this here. They're saying you're going to retire, you're going to do this. He wins a sixth championship. I'm not even a Brady fan. I'm not a New England Patriots fan. I was a diehard Buffalo Bills fan when I came here from Iran. I was a Thurman Thomas fan, Don Beebe, Bryce Pop, Bruce Smith, Jim Kelly. That was my team. That was who I rooted for. We, you know, these guys, they used to have Drew Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe gets hurt. He comes in, he steps up, and then becomes Tom Brady. Wins six championships in 18 seasons. And so when you look at this, uh, this is what I think about when I think about Tom Brady. There's a lot of ways you can say, oh, he's the GOAT, he's this, he's that. I think he's the GOAT of GOATs because it's very difficult to do what he did in the NFL. But this is the part. A lot of people get into the NFL for the fame, for the prestige, for the party, and for the girls. Oh, man. I'm going to have so many different girls. Every night is going to be a different one. Dog, we're going to party like there's no tomorrow. We're going to party like rock stars, right? Fame. I'm going to be on TV. Everybody from school is going to see me. I'm on TV. Look at me. I'm famous. Look at the chains. Look at the cars. Look at the jewelry. That's another one, right? The other one is money. I got a $40 million contract. I'm making $6 million a year, $8 million a year. Look at this. Look at that. And then some do it because I want to be a pro bowler. I want to win a game. I want to win a championship game. But very few are wired like this guy. And you know what's crazy about a guy like him? No one finds out who is the Brady of their league or their industry for a long time. Nobody does. Nobody does. It takes 10, 20 years, sometimes 30 years to find that out. In the business world, there's a lot of people that come out of the gates and they win fast. In the sports world, it's the same thing. In everything, you'll never know 10, 20 years down the line. You know what's crazy? I remember one time I was in a meeting and a guy speaking from stage, and I was probably the number 50 guy in the company, okay? And nobody saw me as a number one guy or somebody that could come up. It's probably the number 50 guy in the company. But I remember looking at the speaker, I never forget what I was telling myself. I said, these guys have no idea. I am not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. I don't think these guys understand it. I don't care about the lifestyle. You know why I buy a car like this? Do you know why I buy a car like this? One, when I was a kid, I saw the Shah with the picture upside down in Iran. When I went to his museum, his eight castles that he had, this car was there and he drove a Rolls and I told myself one day I'm gonna buy it because I told my dad, dad, look at that Rolls Royce. One day I'm gonna buy that for myself. I said, come on, you know, you're dreaming. But honestly, I don't care about this guy. I drive this every day. I put, I put 15,000 miles on this every year. I don't buy this like, oh, I'm like, look at this exotic. I just park it. I drive it like it's a Ford Contour. This is a given for a guy like Brady. This is a given. You know, sometimes if you're watching this yourself and you're thinking, Pat, I don't know how to describe this to you, man. I, I, I go to sleep and I wake up. I just can't stop dreaming about who I want to be in life. You know, last night I was watching uh, Gladiator. I can't stop watching Gladiator for myself. That's like my, it's my drug when I watch it. The story of redemption. Nothing like it, man, when nobody thinks you could pull it off. When everybody doubts you, when everybody says, oh, you'll never do it. And you know what's crazy, all you guys that are watching this? Somebody goes, oh my God, this was the exact message for me, Pat. I don't know if it is. Let me tell you why. I don't know what time you woke up today. I don't know how fired up you are today. I don't know if you need the world to motivate you every day. Because nobody needs to motivate Brady every day. He doesn't need a motivational speaker to get him going. Yeah, I make these videos, but these videos are built for you to eventually not need it anymore. It isn't built for you to constantly need it. It's built for you to finally realize how to motivate yourself 
And by the way, the majority need it constantly. But the few, you have a vision in your brain and you can't take it out. You can't take it out. You can't take it out. Somebody that don't believe in you. Somebody says you can't do it. Somebody said there's no way in the world. You? Are you out of your mind? You could never do this. You don't have a degree. You don't come from the right family. You were broke. You're poor. You have an accent. You're not that smart. You ain't that good. There's no way you'll pull it off. And all of those things stay in your brain. You know how many scenes of conversations are recorded in my brain? You know how many you got? You either have to live with them and know they're right, or the few of you that are watching this, very small percentage, less than 1% of you that are watching this, less than 1%. You can't take it out. And you can't live your life without seeing those things become a reality. You know who you are. You know exactly who you are because this message, message resonates with you. So, 198, never been a Brady fan, never. I was a Drew Bledsoe fan more than I was a Brady fan when he came out of Washington State. But look at this guy. Hmm. Unbelievable what this guy's done. This whole story today is not about him, it's about you. What are you doing it for? Fame? The money? Cars like this? The lifestyle? freedom or to get a taste of what it's like to be the best in your world in your industry knowing when the guy takes a day off you're going knowing the day your competitor gets casual you're doubling down on effort it's a big difference by the way no one knew Brady was going to be who he was he didn't look like a professional football player he looks more in shape today than either when he first came into the league but you can't read someone's heart, man. You cannot measure someone's heart. You cannot. So, anyways, uh, if you follow a story, you know how special it is. If you don't, the, one of the greatest underdog stories of all time. Another great example of talent is good. You can't measure heart. Now, he also ended up having a great mentor, by the way that wanted as bad as him, if not more. You put those two together, unstoppable combination. So, this week, after watching this video, what are you doing it for? Fame, money, prestige, freedom, glory? Or to find out what it's like to be one of the best, if not the best, in your industry? Actually ask that question from yourself, if you're still watching this video by now, if you're not distracted with all the other things that are around you. And if it fires you up and you're saying, Pat, I fully relate to everything you're saying, well, then guess what? When everything goes wrong this week, when your appointment cancels, when your best sales cancels, when your best customer cancels, when your mom is disappointed because you haven't called her back, when your girl breaks up with you, when your boyfriend breaks up with you, when something bad happens to your business, to you and the market, to your family, to your friends, that's when you realize if you really got the goodies. And then we'll have to find out if it can last. 5, 10, 15, 20 years. That's when we find out about your stamina, your fatigue, your endurance. Everybody finds out. And the few of you that stick around, the world's going to know about you. <laughs> it's just how these things work. Anyways, I hope this message resonates with those few of you that actually think about this all day long. Let's have a killer week, everybody. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>